Hello, everybody. Thank you. I just want to say some things. I know that uh, a lot of people can say things on YouTube or say things on Instagram or Twitter or even go on so many other different social media platforms. But when you have a young lady that's confused, that has not seen Surviving R. Kelly, or that has not seen what's going on in the world, that's a problem. Me and my family put this fight out because it was necessary to do right by women. And I said, my family, we have all been affected by this. Jocelyn, Jalen, even my littlest one, Jory. my wife I wanted to do something that my daughter is a breakthrough for her when you don't have no one to call on in a time of need you have someone that you can call on 24 hours a day. And that's Jesus Christ. Because he the one died. For our sins. We result. Back into. What. We was brought up as kids. And what. Means of years ago. When Jesus. Died on the cross for our sins. Everything he do, he does it for a reason. And we have to know that it's all and to give him glory, no matter what the situation is. But it's something that we must go through because we on this earth to serve him and do his work. My daughter love Jesus so much. I'm talking about Jocelyn. She loved to sing. Her main focus was not to even sing R&B or when she was a young girl. Lisa McClinton was her favorite artist, gospel artist. And she told me, she said, Daddy, can I see, can I even just talk to her? Can I? I said, yes, of course. And we took her to the concert to meet Lisa McClinton. And um, baby, if you're listening, if people are, can share this, share this song for Jocelyn. Share this on your YouTube, not for money or clicks, no matter who you may be. Share it for her because she needs Jesus. She needs her father, her heavenly father, to give her a peace of mind and give her what she needs. And that's him. You know, I'm going to say this and I'm going to play this song that so much that she loves. And hopefully this will give her her peace that she deserves. You're born on this earth by yourself and you're going to leave this earth by yourself. But in between the time, 
you have company just to come to share with you your life experiences. But true enough, you have company and that company is going to leave you and you're going to go on to another place. And that's with Jesus. So we have to stay in prayer. But uh, I'm going to let this song play. It's by Lisa McClendon. You're so holy. And Jesus is the reason for the season. This was her favorite song. So if you on here. And you're saying something negative. Trust and believe. I don't have to handle you. God already know who you are. So God is going to handle you. So you can do what you must. As Moses told the Pharaoh. What you wish upon me. Will come time ten times greater back on you because I'm a man of God. So I'm not even going to address that issue. So you can put your negative comments on there all you want to. But let me tell you something. God is going to handle you. He's going to fight that battle. Not me. So I'm going to tell you that. Jocelyn. If you're listening, Daddy, your father is playing your favorite song. I know there's been a lot of slander going on about the savages, but this really touched me. Like, I don't think nobody wants to see their daughter go through this. And, like, just me genuinely don't think that anyone wants to see their kid go through this. So we just really need to lift them up with prayer. Anybody affected by this whole R. Kelly ordeal, like, yes, we put out the news and we've been, I know I've been putting out videos, but I sincerely hope that the girls are in safe positions, that anybody affected by this man is released from it and that they can turn to God and just, Seek him as refuge. I hope to God that my daughter plays this. I pray to God that she gets on her knees and cry out and come to know him. It's not about her coming home to me, but coming home to know him and fly right to know him. We love her. We love you. Your granddaddy is watching down on you right now. Your granddaddy loved you. He loves you, baby. And I'm thankful for you. And I'm thankful for all y'all. Praise God. Praise him. Because when praises go up, blessings come down. So thank you again, Jocelyn. I hope you see this. Daddy love you. Mommy love you. Jalen love you. Jory loves you. Your Nana, your Grandmama Shirley, your Steve, Michael, Pee Wee. We can go on and on. These people love you. And they won't stop fighting for you to come to know Jesus. Come to know him. He's going to change that heart. He will make the heart right. In Jesus' name. We got to say, we love him. We love him. Thank y'all. Jocelyn, call me when it's right. Call me when it's right, baby. I love you.